back at it again in the basement here I've got the top off my 83 model checks and thought it'd be a good time to shoot a little quick video of what the inside of a checks looks like now this is the original model the 83 the super checks and the super checks pro will look a little different on the inside um, actually quite a bit different but this is the 83 model that has the speaker cannons as well some of them don't have that it's more of the flush mount like it is now so um, there's a couple different models of these blue bases but yeah I just thought it'd be a I've got a headlamp here so it might get a little bit of a shadow but just always like to look on the inside of a game you don't see very many videos where they actually go through and show you the insides here so um, <clears throat> this is the volume control here you want to if you have volume problems you want to make sure these wires are soldered in real good here um, there's three tabs gray on the left black on the right and then these the middle tab is linked with the black make sure those solder connections are in good I've actually got a speaker repair here that I'm gonna do um, actually whenever I was painting the coin box I broke off the speaker connection here with the little panel I took off here and then this brown one is loose as well so I'm going to replace it I'll go do that at the end of the video here but just a quick look here's the coin lights if you need to switch them you'd slide them out replace the lights coin box um, the power supply down here this is a critical part two of the 83 model um, the super checks won't have a power box here it's in the motherboard so if your 83 does not have power no anything when you plug it up there's a fuse in this box sometimes they're mounted this way as well but mine's luckily mounted pointed towards the back door here but um, there's a little fuse holder right here on the side just pull it out there and I guarantee you that'd probably be the problem that was actually the problem with this table uh, when I got it it didn't power up and I got it hella cheap and then that's all it was really just a fuse like they they always say so always check your fuses um, the back door has got the PCB here you know with the table not mounted on the ribbon cables not on and a couple other connections but um, this is what a 83 board will look like you've got your time settings and uh, coin settings here so I've got it on one coin and the maximum amount of time as well um, well maybe that may be on the shortest time I need to poke it up a little bit I think I was testing it. yeah if you want the max time it's all the way up the least expensive is all the way down um, but yeah um, if you're having sound problems as well if your speaker connections look good um, a lot of times if you don't have sound it, it's these connections that have come loose or corroded or something's happened with them but if you're having sound problems these chips from this long one here down are your sound chips so you want to reseat them and, and just even check the corrosion or bent pins or what have you those will be where your sound chips will come from um, if you're having scoreboard problems that's these other couple IC chips up here that you would want to reseat and check the connections real good on them um, but yeah a lot of times you'll see burn where the ribbon cable comes in like if you're looking to buy one check that connection right there where the ribbon cable comes in look for any black mark or burn mark um, that means it's had problems that may have been fixed before it could be problems coming so just make sure you have your ribbon cable connected correctly that's usually why that burns they'll flip it around but you'll see little hooks on the ribbon cable and it goes towards the board because it's meant to hook into this little piece here so sometimes this piece will break off and you don't know which way to go the little hook parts of the connector point towards the board so yeah and that's basically the inside of an 83 I'm gonna slap the top on I got a couple cocktail tables here so it's a good little holder for the top I, I do have towels below there to protect my glass but yeah um, that's the inside of an 83 I'll be back and try to fix these speaker wires okay now to fix the wires a few tools you're going to need is uh, wire strippers here the ratcheting crimpers this is a nice tool to have at all times anyways you can get it on arcadepartsandrepair.com um, and then also a new little 
connectors we're going to put on there. I, I just got a big assortment of these on Amazon because um, you never really know what size you'll need. These are the 6.3 millimeter, um, but I recommend just get a big assortment of these because you'll never know um, what you'll need. But So you'll take your ratcheting crimpers here. I'll go ahead and set my little connector in there. At least get a snap or two in there. That way you can set your cable in there. Um, I just got my cable cleaned up. A little bit showing there. All we really gotta do is just stick the wire in and crimp down. Just like that. The first little holders will be, you want a little bit of a plastic on it. And then these next set of holders, you'll see that's where you want the wire. So you kind of do want it holding a little bit of the uh, wire cover just inside there that's the proper way to do it anyways um, so yeah I'll take my old connector off slap the new one on and we're good to go from our connection I'll do the same thing on the other one it's got two wires but basically same thing I'll just um, splice them give me a little bit of wire on each one put both of them in there crimp down and good to go easy as that thanks for tuning in